Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette. And guys, ta-da! <laughs> this is what is left of my diamond painting stash. Right, if you've been here last week, I showed you all the finishes um, that I had in my second year of my diamond painting stash detox. And if you're totally new here and you're like, what is a diamond painting stash detox? Well, I've been trying to work through my entire diamond painting stash without buying new diamond paintings. I've been going for two years now. At the beginning of November, I celebrated the two year mark. And each month I do a monthly check-in where I show you the diamond paintings that I have finished in the previous month and also how it's going and what I'm planning to do in the upcoming month. And this month, November, um, because it's the two year mark, I showed all the finishes of my second year of detox in a special video last week. I'll put a link up in the eye on the right top side of your screen, but you can also find the link in the description box below the video. And there's also a link in the description box to the entire detox playlist. But today, guys, I'm going to show you what is left of my stash. And, well, if you can count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven diamond paintings left in my stash. And actually, it's like six and a half because that one, the princess panel, that's a whip. And whip stands for work in progress. And if you look up close, I'll just bring you up close in a second. You can see that the bottom side is already done and I just need to finish the top side, which I'm planning to do in the coming month. But today I'm going to show you all the diamond paintings up close. Seven diamond paintings to go, <laughs> so this isn't a very elaborate uh, stash video. If you want to see all the diamond paintings that I started with, so the start stash video, that one's also in the playlist for my stash detox. Right guys, let's go and have a look. So the first one that I want to show you guys is my current whip. So this is part of my stash, my current stash. Um, normally you only show your unopened ones or the ones that you haven't worked on yet. But this is uh, the only current whip that I have. So I have, this is a princess panel, Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club, 45 colors square. So I have managed to work till here. And this is the part that I still need to finish, but I'm planning on doing that this month. So this is my current whip. So I count it as part of my stash, but actually it isn't stash, it's a whip. A work in progress already. So this is actually number seven. <laughs> so apart from this, I have six diamond paintings that I really haven't worked on at all. So this is just a little bonus in this video. <laughs> but look at the kind of bonus. This is such a beautiful diamond painting. Unfortunately, this continued the princess panels, but the colors, oh, it's so much fun with the stained glass. And I really, really love the, the face. I don't like all the faces from the princess panels, but this one I really love. So I hope to finish this one in the month of November. But now let's go on to the real stash. So let's start with the first one. This is Art Angel from mindfulnessdiamondpainting.co.uk. 50 by 65 centimeters around. And this is more of a budget diamond painting. Uh, it is legally licensed. The company no longer exists. Uh, they legally licensed Willowing Arts and I really love Willowing Arts. I have talked about this diamond painting in my monthly check-in two weeks ago. And this is actually the one that I'm planning on starting next. 
um, together with the, the whip that I just showed you of uh, Mandy Manzano. Uh, this is a round, that one is a square. So those will, will be the two that I will be working on first. Um, so, and I really, really love the image. Uh, I'm not too sure about the rendering. Um, it's not as detailed because as you see through the lens, these are supposed to be words and on the original artwork they are even not that good to read. But you can decipher them, but on this I already know, I can see that that won't be the point. You'll just see some black lines or darker lines. Uh, I'm not that bummed about that. I do love the, the little, little angel wings. And I do love her face. I have worked on another one from uh, Mindfulness Diamond Painting, another Willowing Arts, and that turned out really beautiful. If you take into account that these were, these diamond paintings weren't that expensive, uh, what you can expect quality-wise, I think they do an okay job. The only difference between the one that I already did and this one is that this one really has some stark guide circles. Look, those are just really harsh circles around the... to place your drill. So you need to be really, really conscious about or you need to pay attention to how you place them. It's not as forgiving, but... Um, I'm really, really happy that I didn't do that with the lighter areas, look, because that's really a problem. But look, with the lighter areas you don't have the guide circles, but with the darker areas you do. Well, and the canvas, the quality of the canvas, it's, it's just really plasticky feel. And, uh, well, you've got these kind of things in the back. So that's a bit annoying. Well, it's not just, it's not a quality canvas that I'm used to <laughs> with my diamond art clubs and uh, all those companies, but um, it'll be okay. So I think the, the finish will be lovely, but um, that's also the reason why I want to do this one, because this is the only one in my stash that's still a bit on the budget side. Um, I only had two. And I did the other one a long time ago, so it's time to finish this one as well. <laughs> okay, so this is the first one from the ones that I haven't worked on at all. Let's go to the next one. Right, so the second one that I have to show you is still in the box. A Diamond Art Club and this is also a Willowing Arts. And this is Angels With You. And it's a round, as I said, from Diamond Art Club. And here you can see the difference in quality of the canvas. Look, the soft canvas that we know. And here she is. I'll just show you the color palette. This is the color palette. Nice. Nicely packaged. And well, unfortunately guys, this one is discontinued. So yes, it's from Diamond Art Club. Um, this is around 60 colors. Oh, that's a lot of colors. And four ABs. This is the artwork. And this is, they did this for a while with their round drills. I don't think they still do that, but it's much lighter and it looks a bit weird, but once you place the drills on it, it looks fabulous. I love the diamond paintings with the girls from Willowing Arts. Look with the beautiful wing, the butterflies, the little girl in here. And I really think this is going to be nice to work on 56 by 74 centimeters. So I think it will work up quickly. 
very clear drill field, of course. So this is, is this the only, no, I have one more round in my stash. So I have Archangel that I'm just going to start to work on. I have this one, Willowing Arts from Diamond Arts Club. So this is a round and then I have one more round that I'm going to show you. And then I have um, three squares, yes. So this is uh, Angels with You. Okay, on to the next round. This is the one and only other round that I still have. <laughs> Crystal Canvas Art Designs. Okay, and this is a really long one. And I do believe there's a, yes, there is a picture on the, it's this one. The Tree of Life. So this is a round uh, diamond painting, but it's a crystal diamond painting. Okay, let me get it out. Okay, glitters, shimmers and shines. I have done one other um, crystal canvas in my stash detox. That was the uh, pink ribbon one. That took quite a long time to do. Oh, and look guys, ever wondered why we like to say with the Diamond Art Club that they have poked and scalloped edges to prevent them from fraying? This is what fraying looks like. So, look. Hmm. Well, there's a large border, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> but uh, just so you know that, oh, some of these canvases have this. Okay, um, this is the bottom part. It's really dark, so it's really difficult to see, and I have a little bit of glare, but then it goes up. It's a 40 by 100. Did I already say that? <laughs> and it's a lot of confetti. But look. Going up and up and up and up. And I'll show you the entire thing in a sec. But, okay, let me just put it a little bit like this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this one. I just uh, looked at Crystal Canvas Art Designs and I think this was the largest one that was on there at the time. So I was just like, okay, why not? Because, yes, guys, you know, I like my challenges. Um, the one that I already have done turned out beautiful. Working with crystals I think was a little bit different and a little bit more difficult to place than um, normal drills. But the end result was actually quite lovely and um, there is, as you can see here, there are parties in black in here and with my other canvas um, when I had black, that wasn't a crystal, but that was actually just a normal drill. Let's take a look at the drill so I can show you. Just a sec. All right, so as you can see, these are all crystals. And this one is legally licensed, uh, the Tree of Life. I don't know if it's still available. Check. Look, guys. Once this is finished, it will look absolutely stunning. Look at these colors. But I'm just trying to see. Mm. Yeah, okay. Because guys, look, this is a, a crystal and this is a, a black that looks like, even though it has the silver backing, but the drill actually just looks black, not a see-through. Because with these, you see them really just sparkle. And with the black,
and with the black you don't you don't get that you see okay so this one is going to be a beautiful one to work on during the winter so and I saved this one till one of the last diamond paintings that I'm going to be working on because the other crystal canvas that I did took me a lot of time to work on and I think I'm going to combine this one um, like for, in, for, for instance with Angels With You that you just saw with all those light colors and these this is the, the darker one but I'm confident that once it is finished it will look absolutely beautiful well I'm going to show you of course but uh, let me show you the canvas one more time So this is the base and then the tree all the way up till there. But do you see all that confetti? This is all confetti, completely confetti. And it's different from, from the diamond paintings that I normally work, in, work on, so I think that will be fun to see. Well, I hope. Okay guys, only three to go and three squares. Are you ready? Okay, a square. And this is Lumina from Micah Jelena. A square, as I have said, 50.3 by 70.6 centimeters. Oh, there are drills in this one because Oh, sorry, because I have already kitted her up. She's been kitted up for quite a long time. Look. Oh, cool. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I really, really, really like this one. I have worked on a couple of Michael Jelinas now, and they are so much fun to work on. This one is a lot of line blocking, and I have discovered that I love line blocking. So I really love this one, it's a classic and um, it has 37 colors, 3 ABs, Mica Gelina Lumina. Well, I don't need to say a lot about this, except that I love it and that I'm going to enjoy working on this one. There's a lot of brown in here. I'm not a big fan of brown, but I will make do and I really love the lava lamps over there and the curtains behind her are really pretty so yeah this is going to be a fun relatively quick i think project uh of the ones that i've just shown you i think this one is the least confetti heavy because yes there is a bit of confetti in here but the rest is all line blocking so that's doable um okay Nothing left to say. Lumina, let's go on to the next one. This is the largest diamond painting that I still have in my stash. Um, although I think that the crystal canvas one, the one 40 by one meter, will take me a long time because of all the confetti. This is the largest one and it's Titania and Oberon from Josephine Wall. Yes, I still have that one in my stash. Okay, let's get her out. It's a biggie. Ooh. And it's been in here for quite some time. Discontinued, guys, unfortunately. All right. Oh, cool. And you know me, if you know me, ooh, okay, this will straighten out, thank God. <laughs> oh, wow, yes. I love Josephine Wall diamond paintings. They are so much fun to do. Ooh, it has a weird smell. The grills have a weird smell. Okay, that's weird. Or is it a canvas? No. 
It's the drills. The drills have a weird smell, but okay. But this one, guys, well, it's a famous one. Well, you know, Josephine Wall was licensed with Diamond Art Club for some time. I have done two Josephine Walls from Diamond Art Club, um, Aquarius and Sagittarius. Uh, I think in my first year, yeah, my first year of detox. Uh, last year I did a cross stitch conversion that you may have seen last week, Mini Lucky from Josephine Wall. And this is my last Josephine Wall from Diamond Art Club. And it's, oh, sorry, I bumped you. And it's 70 by 98 centimeters. It's big, guys. It's big. It is really big. But a lot of fun colors. Look. <laughs> After the unboxing, I wasn't able to get them neatly back into the package. But still, I think I did quite a nice job. How many ABs? Oh, God. <laughs> My drills are smelling so bad. A chemical smell. That's weird. With Diamond Art Club? Okay. And of course, these are older uh, drills. Um, I have worked with some older canvases from Diamond Art Club that I had a problem with the uh, 310, the black uh, drills. And well, we'll just see. But the smell isn't good. But look, well, I think you all know this canvas. I've seen it on a lot of YouTube videos or I've just seen this piece a lot. Maybe it's just me because <laughs> whenever I see it I click on the on the thumbnail or something like that. But uh, this is quite a lot of work. But it's beautiful and especially the wing. And um, oh and I'm forgetting to tell you of course I did my diamond painting Deutschland uh, Josephine Wall. Um, Joie de Vivre. That was my first Josephine Wall that I ever did. And I think it was the fourth canvas that I ever worked on. <laughs> yes, I'm insane. Quite confetti heavy, but oh, I'm going to enjoy working on this so much. And I love the color palette. Again, quite a lot of brown in it. Uh, and as I have already said, <laughs> brown isn't my favorite color, but this will turn out beautiful and I will show you. Okay, only one diamond painting to go, guys. The last square. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Sorry, I'm rolling it up and I'm just like, did I tell you how many colors are in here? 55, sorry. 55 colors, square drills, and two ABs. Okay, the last one. No, it isn't in this box. <laughs> but this box is very important. And dun 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 dun. Oh, there are. Oh, I'll show you this in a sec. I need this for the last diamond painting. These are leftover square drills that I collected from the diamond paintings that I have already worked on. The project that I'm talking about is a Heaven and Earth Design crown jewel canvas. Heaven and Earth Design is known for their cross stitch uh, patterns, but they also have a section crown jewel canvases where you can get a diamond painting canvas, but you just need to get the drills yourself. I have done two crown jewel canvases uh, one from the same artist that I need to work on now. So the, the current project, I'll just show you. And well, the one that everyone knows who has been on my channel, Mini Cage from Anna Dittman. Those are both crown jewel canvases. Um, those I did with drills that I ordered from a company. 
but I had ordered a third canvas right at the beginning with the other two. It was all one order. Uh, and I said, I'm going to save that one and do that with leftover drills. Well, that sounds easier than it, than it is because, guys, um, as I said, I have done 45 diamond paintings, uh, squares and rounds, a combination. Um, and I have collected the leftover drills from my projects. Um, and still, I don't think that I have enough of the right drills in the right amounts to do the canvas that I'm going to be working on. And I've decided, guys, I'm just going to fill in the rest with other colors that I have. So <laughs> it's going to be quite a project, but I'll manage. I'll, I'll show you the canvas. Let's put this to the side. This is the canvas. QS Coral Addiction from Ching Chu Kuik. I have done another mermaid of Ching Chu Kuik, uh, as I've said. Um, but then I just got the drills. The thing is with these canvases, there are a lot of colors in it. It's not a very big canvas. I think it's a 50 by 60. Let's just check. Now it's 44 by 60 centimeters, so it's not really big, but it has 90 colors. So that's a lot. It's a beautiful diamond painting. Um, it's a square, so I can only use square um, drills. I like the way Crown Jewel canvases work up. I think the, the canvases that they use are my favorite because it's a thick cloth-like feel. Um, I really, really, really love this canvas. But what I'm going to do, guys, let me just show. I can only show you a small part, but just as an example. Look, you get the uh, DMC codes and the amount of drills that you need from a particular color. So 666, the bright red, I only need 35 of them. Well, I have them. I haven't updated this thing in a while, so maybe I have the other ones as well. But what I'm going to do is, I'm first of all, I'm going to fill it in with everything that I do have. And then if I miss drills of a certain color, I'm just going to look up uh, the DMC codes uh, that are next to the color and then see if I have them. And otherwise, I'm just going to look at the painting and fill it in. So that's going to take me a while, but I think it will be worth it. And this is the last painting of my stash that I have to show you. So this is going to be quite a project, <laughs> but it's going to be fun. But what I want to say is, okay, guys, after I have done this project, and after I have finished my entire stash, so I have completed this detox, the one thing that I know for sure that I'm never going to do again is this. This. Save my leftover drills because kidding down was quite a hassle because of that. And you know what? Even after doing that for two years, um, I still don't have enough to do a diamond painting, so I'm just not going to do that anymore. And a lot of people say, well, you need your spare drills because what if you run out of a drill? Well, guys, I have almost done, I have done 45 diamond paintings with my stash detox. And I think maybe once or twice I ran out of a drill. Okay, well, in that case, or I will buy a couple of them. Uh, but the hassle of doing this, well, it's it's just not worth it to me personally. But <laughs> just to have done it once, I'm going to do this project. Right, guys, that's it. That is my entire remaining stash. Remaining? The remainder of my stash. How do you like them? And do you have a favorite? And, of course... A famous last question. What canvas do you think I'm going to end my detox with? With which one? So we have 
uh, five to choose from because the princess panel and art angels I've already said that I'm going to be working on those in November so that leaves five diamond paintings uh, to choose from and that's Angels With You from Willowing Art, the round one, um, the Tree of Life, the Crystal Canvas one, uh, Lumina from Michael Gelina, a square one, uh, Titania and Oberon from Diamond Art Club, also a square one, and then this one, QS Coral Addiction from Ching Chu Kuk. Let me know! <laughs> and of course, I'm going to show you <laughs> in due times. Well, it won't be too long anymore. I think I will be finished with my stash somewhere around March, I think. I think. We'll see. We'll see. Um, right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And I hope to see you at the beginning of December for monthly check-in number 25 where I hopefully uh, can show you the progress I made on Art Angel and on the Princess panel and then I'll also decide what I'm going to be working on in December. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching and until my next video. Bye guys!